Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Kadam and today we are going to talk about one more amazing recent feature of UiPath document understanding. Exactly. You heard me right. Recently, Monica has updated, uploaded one of the article, right, on UiPath forum. You might have already gone through that or you might have already heard about it. Extraction Automation Builder. Yes, it's all new feature of UiPath document understanding, which is available on Automation Cloud. I'm not sure if it's available uh, on on-premises yet. However, I'm sure that it is available on Automation Cloud for public preview. So now you can actually access it and you can try it. This is a whole new level of amazing feature, which is there for document understanding workflow, where you don't even have to, uh, if, if you think of document understanding as a complex framework, then now I'm going to break that myth because document understanding has gone way more easier with automation extraction, oh, sorry, extraction automation builder. So to set up document understanding, all you have to do is just simply Verify. So right now, what I have as a prerequisite on my machine is I have Automation Cloud account and I have already connected it with my UiPath Studio on my machine and I have Automation Attended Developer License. That's all, right? Now, moving on, I'm logged into my Automation Cloud account. Uh, let's navigate to Accounts or you can say Admin. Click on Admin. And in Admin, as you can see, you have this many sections. Just check if you have the appropriate license. If you have, then uh, all you have to do is just check uh, services, sorry. So click on your automation cloud admin, then the tenant that where you want to use that service and click on services and just check if you have document understanding service enabled. So for example, like insights is disabled for me. So I can just simply click here and enable this. If you don't see this option, then probably you have only automation cloud account as a automation express account. So you might want to upgrade to you know enterprise account or request enterprise trial account. Right, and then you will get access to document understanding. Now, once you have access to document understanding, if you want to try this feature, it's very, very easy. Enable this service for the tenant. Now click on document understanding and behold the magic. Now, why do I say magic? Because this feature is literally amazing. Okay, now all you have to do, uh, here, as you can see on the document understanding page, right? It shows up right here, extraction automation builder. So you just have to click on get started. It's currently available in public preview. And as you know, this page is pretty much known because we just saw, uh, we uh, we just created video about UiPath document understanding APIs last couple of weeks back. And you can use it from here. Also, you can use Forms AI from here. All right, so these are Forms AI projects. Let's click on get started. So the moment you click on automation extraction, uh, sorry, extraction automation builder, you see that it is available for public preview. It accepts PDF, JPG, PNG formats, maximum of 40, 14 MB of document, maximum of 20 pages currently, and one document type only. So one document type only means now you can actually create a whole working document understanding workflow, even for demo. Just tell me one thing. If you want to create a document understanding workflow for a demo, it would take you at least one or two days to collect all the data, to train, or maybe use this predefined ML model of the DU, right? Endpoint, just use that model, create the workflow. It would take at least a couple of hours for you to create the demo. But with this, <laughs> with this, now you are going to see the whole magic. Why do I use the word magic again and again, okay? Just one document type at a time. So click on upload. I have a sample invoice downloaded already. I'll show you this document later. I'll just click up open. So now it is uploading. So I have chosen to upload PDF document. I uploaded PDF document, it's processing. In the background, it is actually classifying the document type. What do I mean by document type? So document type is nothing but actually, uh, you know, predefined, pre-trained models of UiPath document standing, which are like invoice, invoices Australia, invoices India, invoices Japan, uh, receipts, utility bills, blah, blah, blah. There are so many document types which are already pre-trained on UiPath document understanding. So it automatically detects what kind of document you have uploaded and what document type category it does belong to. Now, the moment you click on details, you can actually see your document understanding for Automation Cloud. It actually takes you to the invoices ML package. And yeah, that's what I was talking about. So these are all the pre-trained models, you know, invoices Australia, 
packing lists, passports, purchase orders, receipts. So it automatically detects what kind of document you have uploaded in Extraction Automation Builder. With the 52% accuracy, it tells me that this is invoice. And in case of misclassification, it actually allows you to relabel and change the detected document type. So since it has already observed it as invoice, invoice, I'll just keep it the same, right? Just keep, go with the defaults just to test, okay? Now you also have additional parameter to change, which is optional configuration where you have option to change the project name. I'll keep it extract invoices and validate document data. So using this option, it will automatically enable the validation of extraction data when running the automation by including create document validation action. That means this actually creates a action center component within your DU framework. Isn't that amazing? Because ideally, let me tell you why. Ideally, you actually have to use UiPath's uh, actions. If you want to use UiPath's action center, you have to go ahead and create one storage bucket. You have to indicate that storage bucket within your document understanding framework. You have to uh, upload the document. You have choice to encrypt it or just directly upload it, right? And delete if you want to after you have uh, extracted right data. So all those features, now it's skipped completely because it is there, but it happens automatically. It just have option to enable or disable that. If you want to add additional project description, just click on here and just say sample YouTube video for extraction automation builder. Sorry for that. Okay, let's go ahead and let's say create. So let me just move this to my D. create workflow. And now what happens? I did not change anything. I just uploaded one type of document. Now it has automatically redirected to UiPath Studio Web. For those who don't know what is UiPath Studio Web, Studio Web is a new uh, product of UiPath, which is available on Automation Cloud, where you can actually build UiPath robot on cloud. So you don't have to actually install UiPath Studio on your machine. You can actually create workflow on UiPath Studio on the cloud and then also run it on the cloud. So it uses uh, you know, robots, which are serverless robots, to run the bot. And now look at it. It has already created workflow for us. Literally, I am not going to change anything because you're just going to see it as it is right on the screen. So I just uploaded one document. I did not change any parameter. I set it and let it go with the invoices because it predicted the document type as invoices. Then it redirected us to UiPath Studio. It has already created one workflow where it has added manual trigger, download storage file. It has automatically created a DU storage bucket. As you can see, file sample also has been uploaded automatically. It, you can see additional options as well. And then it has, uh, you know, all the activities like write file processing update, extraction document data, validate document data, write extracted data. Perfect. This is a proper DU project. Now let's see whether it actually runs or not. So what we will do, let's start the bot. So I'm just going to say run. And in UiPath Studio where we can actually see your logs and execution status right here. So it's building project, agent is initializing, transferring project, project build, project transfer restoring new grid package. I have not published the project yet, okay? I just ran it. So as you can see, the robot has already started running. Manual to get executed, download storage file has already done. It has uploaded that file as a sample file to the storage bucket automatically. Right file processing update is successfully running. Extract date document data is actually now running, it ran successfully, and now validate document data. Now it says Validate document data is running and here, right here in the logs, as you can see, it says upload data to storage bucket. It has uploaded data to storage bucket and extract, invoice, uh, extract invoices execution suspended. Suspended because, as I told you, it automatically created action center for us. Amazing. <laughs> Not only it created that, so you don't have to actually go ahead and navigate to UiPath actions like right here. You can see the actions, right? So I can just right click open it and I can see actions here. And you can see that there's one unassigned action with me, right? However, you also have option which says a new task have been created. Execution has been suspended, is waiting for you to complete the task in action center. Obviously this is going to be used during an, uh, 
a production robot, which is going to be an unattended robot. And that's where you don't have to actually manually resume and manually do that. But yeah, for human invalidation, this acts exactly as an unattended robot, right? So let's see what happens. Let's go to Action Center, or you can actually navigate to Action Center from here. See, it opens the action task for you. And it automatically takes you to unassigned actions. I don't even have to navigate to Action Center and do that, right? Now, all I have to do is just click here and assign this to myself. The moment I assign it to myself, it comes under my pending task. So I'll click here, I'll minimize this piece. And now you can actually see that, let's zoom this a little bit, oh, sorry. Let's zoom this a little bit. Okay, vendor name, this is correct. Then the vendor address is also correct. 333, blah, 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 this is just a random data. Billing name, is also correct, right? Then billing address is also correct. Invoice number is exactly accurate. You see shipping address is not there, that's fine. Customer purchase order number, that's fine, that's fine. Invoice date is there. The important fields that I actually want are the total amount is $40, which is correct. Net amount is $40. Due date is also correct. Uh, so invoice date, due date, everything is perfect. So far, so good. Oh no, wait a second. What does the due date say? The due date is actually 2016, September 20. Oh, it's correct, actually. And then uh, we have any anything else? Oh, I think there's, there. oh, there are line items which are also extracted automatically. Description, line amount. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is amazing. So as you can see on screen, right? This is description, line item, quantity, unit price, this data is automatically extracted with 95% of accuracy of extraction. This is super amazing. So just click on save and close, continue. And uh, the details are saved for the table. And now let's click on submit to submit the action. And the action is submitted. So you can actually validate the data, complete the action, submit the action is submitted right here. Now go back because this action obviously is completed, right? So just close this and you can actually go to overview of actions and you can check completed actions. So it shows the action which you just completed in the completed tab three minutes ago. And now here it's stopped because it's suspended. So you have to manually resume because we have triggered it manually. So click on resume, it continues. And that's all, voila. You have all the extracted data right here. Let's just copy it. Open a new notepad, a notepad, and paste this data here. So not only you have all the fields extracted, but also you have line item data extracted as well, which is amazing. Okay, not just this, it actually created a fully working workflow for us. You can actually go ahead and publish it from here. At the same time, you can download the logs. Also, let me tell you one more amazing feature. Step ahead one more step and just show you something classy, okay? Which is that you can literally go to UiPath Studio web, okay? And now look at this. Go to projects, extract invoices. This is just five minutes back which we created, correct? Click here. You can actually open this in UiPath Studio, open. Click on any of the pop-ups, that's fine. Just open this one or this one. So it is opening the project, which I just happened to create by uploading only single document and by doing nothing else, right? As you can see, it's downloading all the packages, installing packages, restoring dependencies and we just exported a UiPath Studio web project into UiPath Studio. Okay, that's how easy it is. And believe me, <laughs> this is super, super easy. Did we do any kind of development or any kind of logical implementation in this project? No, not at all. We just clicked on Extraction Automation Builder and we are just navigating through it. That's all. And as you can see, the whole workflow is already here in UiPath Studio. Just save it, okay? You have your project uh, description. You have extraction fields also defined here. 
extract document data, you can actually go ahead and actually uh, you modify the fields that you want. Uh, you can manage actions also by clicking on action center, you know, within your UiPath workflow. Let's go back to UiPath Studio. And now your customer demonstration is ready. All you have to do is just run this, show them how document understanding works and what is the extraction quality of UiPath's document understanding. And that's all. With just one click of uploading a document, you have now gone to a next level of implementing a whole end-to-end -end solution and demonstration for UiPath's document understanding. Obviously, there are a couple of limitations here. Like there are only a couple of predefined document types which are currently supported for this one and limited extractors as well. However, uh, there's also one more thing, which is that currently there is no digitization step, which you can see here, right? So you can directly see down, download storage file, uh, just write line, extract document data, validation. So directly extraction, direct validation, and auto classification because it has automatically classified it as invoices, correct? So there's only single type of document which can be processed currently, but yes, you can actually use this capability to demonstrate any customer any project within ease. And this is not only suited for developers, but even for uh, citizen developers, this is very easy for you to extract data from any type of documents. And now you can just simply put this into loop, uh, modify this as a perfect workflow, start using it directly for your actual real-time project. And how's that? This is amazing. And if you want me to actually create an article about it, let me know. I'm going to write an article about it. Um, and also, if you want, in the meantime, to go through this video slow by slow, you can actually ask me anytime. And I, I'm very much happy to walk you through this demo one more time if you want to. So you can ping me on LinkedIn. You can reach me on YouTube anytime. Let me know in the comment section what would you like to see next. And if you want article about this whole process step by step, do let me know. I will soon write about it. And thank you so much. Happy automation. And see you soon.